Well, then. From Hollywood. Yeah, no. Way they go to a perfect start. It's the Tom Likers Show. DTB on the inside's gonna get there. DTB, one in the next. And now. And now. Here he is. Tom Likers. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likers Show. Joining us, he's been with us many times over the years, is Mr. Skin of MrSkin.com. Mr. Skin! Hey, Tom, how you doing? I'm doing okay. How are you? Doing great, doing great. Before we get to the Anatomy Awards, and we're going to do that, uh, I just want you to know that people have been forwarding me video and still photos of Salma Hayek breastfeeding in yeah. Africa. <laughs> Yes, I, I saw those. Uh, very impressive. She could, she could have uh, breastfed a few more than just that one kid. I would assume. I think she could feed the entire continent. Yes. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, what a lucky little guy, huh? Yeah, that's. Uh, I'll tell you what. This is enough to make you want to starve in Africa, for God's sake. <laughs> yeah, it makes me inspires me to do a top ten breastfeeding list for the uh, website when I see that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how many you'd have, but she'd definitely uh, be the top. We, of the we list. could find ten. The problem with those breastfeeding uh, scenes is the kid always blocks your view. You know. I know. Yeah, I know. The kid has the the best view of all. <laughs> right. There, there was a bit of nip uh, happening there, though, in the video. I yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, she's shown it. I mean, I would I would recommend a movie called Ask the Dust. She did with Colin Farrell. Thirty three minutes in, she goes full frontal. If you want to see a little more, <laughs> also the movie Frida. Are two great movies to see Salma Hayek naked. Love that. Yeah. Oh, that's an evening of entertainment. <laughs> now, here we are on the eve of the Oscars, but the Anatomy Awards really don't have anything to do with the Oscars, except they are conveniently timed. Uh, right. Let's, let's talk a bit about the differences between the Anatomy Awards and the Academy Awards. Well, this is my 10th annual Anatomy Awards. I can't believe it's been 10 years already. It, Amazing. It, yeah, it seems like only yesterday. Didn't when Betty I Davis win the first Anatomy Award <laughs> that was held in the Pantages, yeah, it was, wasn't it? Were, it was very difficult because they were all silent movies. It was very tough. <laughs> but um, uh, And uh, what it is is every year I decided to do this to kind of, uh, you know, with the Oscars, I thought it would be a great time. The, the Oscars worry, you know, they look at the, the movie industry very seriously, and it's a... Uh, you know, a very, in, in many ways, kind of, uh, it, there's some great moments, but as you know, Tom, there's some very boring moments, and I felt that what guys really care about when it comes to movies is all the nudity, so I decided 10 years ago to start doing my Anatomy Awards the week of the Academy Awards, and it's it's grown every year, and I mean, this year is bigger than ever. We have 35 categories, and uh, uh, some are ones you'd expect some are ones you probably would never expect but it's a very fun list and i could guarantee there's no boring moments in the anatomy awards no no but the problem you would have of course if you're going to actually stage these even if you had a red carpet <laughs> you'd have to find a straight reporter to question uh, everybody right. on the red carpet well depending on who gets naked i could sometimes <laughs> promise red carpet but uh, <laughs> not uh, uh not this year so <laughs> i am not gay well i've always wanted about Molly Ringwald, one of the carpet matches the drapes. Anyway, uh, always check the movie Malicious from 1995. She's topless with a guy. It's. Uh, I think you'd be blown away by how good Molly Ringwald looks naked. Actually. Is that so? Yes. She, it surprised me. It's one of my most surprising nude scenes of all time. I never dreamed that the girl from all those John Hughes movies would ever get naked, and and that was the first thing. But then when she was topless, to see how great she looked, and uh, I, I say uh, Molly Ringwald and Malicious from 1995 is one of my most surprising nude scenes in a good way of all time. Sounds good to me. Yes. Now, uh, tell us about some of these categories you've got, because I know we're uh, chomping at the bit. We've had the, 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 we have the Anatomy Awards now. I don't know if it was all 10 years, but many of them. Oh, yeah. I've been on many times to, to talk about the Anatomy Awards with you. And, uh, like, uh, uh, one thing I did different this year is we actually, for the bigger awards we actually show the nominees or as we call them the nominudes to uh, uh to, so that you see who the runner up uh was in some of these like we did one award this year uh the best porn star gone hollywood and tom as you know uh, many porn stars have made the crossover into mainstream films especially in the last 10 years and uh um, this year you had Genevieve Jolie had a great nude scene in Entourage. Jenna Jameson did an R-rated movie called Zombie Strippers. But we chose Katie Morgan in uh, Zack and Miri Make a Porno as the best, 
what we called best uh, porn star gone Hollywood, and uh, that was uh, our favorite. And uh, another category that I think you and the guys would really like is the best TV show. And the reason is, I I've said this to you before, in the last couple of years, where the best nudity is coming from is not in the theaters, it's not you know, on DVD bonus features or anything. It's coming from all these cable TV series, uh, series, especially on HBO and Showtime, you know, with Entourage and Californication and Crash and The L Word and Dexter and Tudors. Each of these shows are, uh, you know, and Weeds, I say, and, and they're all good shows, but they're uh, the common thread is... Tudors is spelled T-U-D-O-R-S. <laughs> exactly. And, and just tons of uh, nudity in these shows, and uh, uh, that's where all the good nudity, in my opinion, has been coming in the last couple of years but uh for this year we chose true blood from hbo as the kind of the show that that rose above the rest and uh even if you're not into vampires uh you got to say that any uh tv show that would get anna paquin and lizzie kaplan to do their new debuts is, is worth checking out and we loved it this year oh you're not kidding yeah true blood is great and then we had uh, I was gonna. I was you know, pitching a TV series called True Blood. It was only going to be on every twenty eight days. <laughs> well, that's the L word, I think. <laughs> yeah. But uh, anyway, we also had uh, uh, an award for the best Oscar nominated nudity, and what that means is if you were nominated for a real Oscar but were nude in your movie, who was who did the best? Who had the best nudity of any of the girls nominated? And you had Angelina Jolie was naked in Changeling, and Kate Winslet was very naked in The Reader. But we chose Marissa. Tomei and The Wrestler, and, and Tom, I don't know if you've seen The Wrestler, but uh, they're talking about Mickey Rourke and what a great job. She, do, who, someone not getting enough notoriety is Marissa Tomei, who even at 44 still looks outstanding, and she plays a stripper in this, and her body looks like a 24-year-old. It's really amazing. Now, do we know real or fake on Marissa Tomei? What's the deal there? You know, I, uh, they're, they're so perfect. I want to say they're fake, but uh, my gut feeling is they're real and uh, they're pretty pretty impressive. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, her, her tomatoes have never looked better, I can <laughs> tell you that. So. Um, and, and some other ones, uh, we did a Best Butt Award this year, and uh, again, Angelina Jolie was in the running for Wanted, Amy Smart in a movie called Mirrors, but we chose Anna Ferris in a movie called The House Bunny. It was a PG-13 film, and uh, she was wearing a towel and uh, nothing else, and the shot was from behind, and it was a, a full-on shot. Really uh, great if you're a fan of Anna Ferris. She was in all those scary movie uh, one through four. Uh, it was really a great uh, butt scene. My favorite of uh, 2008, no question about it. Wow. Yeah, and then uh, we had a lot of fun awards, which uh, y y you might get a kick out of. Now, when you have an award called Best Nudity with a Toothbrush, you know you're not going to have nominees. There's only going to be one winner for that. And uh, <laughs> we had uh, Lee Cairns in 88 Minutes won that one. But, like, some fun ones that I think you'd get a kick out of. Um, we did the Best Nude Daughter of a Famous Mother and the Best Nude Daughter of a Famous Father. And what was great about it this year is, in the past, we've individually had these awards, but it's a rare year when you have both a famous mother and a famous father whose daughter does a nude scene. It just, you know, to have two, you know, both happen is, is pretty impressive. And uh, do you guys all know who Nastasha Kinski is? Of course. She has a daughter named Sonia Kinski who made her nude debut in All God's Children Can Dance. And I have to say... As hot as mom is, I think the daughter may be even hotter if that's uh, uh, if you could believe that. And she's very naked in that movie. And then didn't Mar didn't Marlon Brando put butter on her mom at one time? No, that was Maria Schneider. Oh, okay, Maria I thought it was Nastasha Kinski. Yeah, last last tango in Paris, right? Oh, no, those seventies, those seventies yeah, jigs. They had that seventies wooly look, if you know what I mean. Exactly. Yes, but. Uh, the, and, and you guys all know who Sam Waters, uh, Watterson is, Jack McCoy from Law and Order. Well, he has a, a daughter named Catherine Watterson who was topless in The Babysitters. And uh, it, it's good that she took her, her, her mother's looks, let's say, but she looks great. And uh, it, it, was an, it was great that I could get both in uh, Famous Mother and Famous Father this year. And uh, like I said, there's, there's about 25 different categories. One that I think uh, another one that you might have interest in is the best pixelated nudity. And uh, what I mean by that is uh, on some of these TV shows, especially on the E! Network as an example, girls will get naked, but since they, you know it's not cable, they can't show it. But we still try to celebrate, hey, they're giving it a shot. And Denise Richards in It's Complicated, her and the girls go for a, 
Uh, it was a reality show she did, and her and the girls go to b- sunbathe topless, and uh, they all have their tops off, but uh, they, they pixelated out the nudity from Denise Richards. Of course, if you go see the movie Wild Things, uh, you, you see that without the pixelation, but that one best pixelated uh, nudi- nudity of 2008. That was uh, definitely the best one of the year. Wow, Denise yeah. Richards. Yeah, she's uh, still looking pretty good, I have to say, no question about it. You would it. think being married to Charlie Sheen would put a few miles on the odometer. <laughs> No, you know what? She was still looking good, and uh, uh, I was very impressed. Now, fans of uh, Deal or No Deal with Howie Mandel would love our award for the best naked Deal or No Deal, babe. Uh, there was a girl named uh, Haley Marie Norman, who's one of those suitcase uh, girls. Yes. You know, that, you know and uh, she this TV show Crash, which is on the Stars Network with Dennis Hopper, featured her topless, and I have to tell you that uh, it, it would really it would really blow you away if you saw uh, this girl naked. It was it was very good. I don't know how many people are watching uh, the TV show uh, on the Stars Network called Crash, but uh, some great nudity from a, a deal or no deal babe. Her name's Haley Marie Norman. It was our best naked deal or no deal babe this year. Wow. Yeah. How many of them got naked? Uh, well, she was the only one, but hey, she, <laughs> she was the best. Yeah, you know? never she know. The they all yeah. should get naked. Yeah, well, I, that's what I think. Now that maybe because she won this award, this could mean uh, uh, this could be no nudity from the show. So we'll see what happens. But uh-huh. uh, yeah. So uh, anyway, so yeah, and uh, we also did a, a best interracial scene. That is, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 it's uh, Mina Suvari, who you guys would remember from. Uh, the movie American Beauty. She was the cheerleader that hooked up with Kevin Spacey, and um, she uh, was with this black guy. And it's a super hot scene, and uh, uh, it's it's actually as good as her nudity was in American Beauty. I have to say, uh, her nudity in Stuck is even better. So best skin to racial. I'm sure she's very uh, excited about winning that award this year. Wow. Venus <laughs> I'll bet she is. Now, has anyone ever tried to accept their awards from you? You know, I, I actually should probably uh, just send them out, but I can't imagine, like, you know, Angelina Jolie being really excited about anything here. Uh, you know, <laughs> I, we'll see. I mean, maybe down the road we'll do this uh, at a bigger scale and someone could come down and accept the awards. But for now, we just keep it online and to ourselves. So. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's take a break. We're talking about Mr. Skin. It's mrskin.com without a space. Mr. Skin.com. Mr. Skin is a human encyclopedia, a female nudity in movies. His website is uh, just uh, a cornucopia of, uh, well, just uh, topless chicks, topless chicks, uh, bottomless chicks, chicks who are naked in the in pictures. It's unbelievable. And many of you have already been to the website, but if you've got questions about who's naked, if your favorite actress ever got naked, he knows all about that. If you're into, uh, if you're into guys getting naked, this is the wrong program. Don't be calling here. Mr. Skin does not have any database of guys getting naked, doesn't care to keep that database. Surely there's a business model out there for somebody, but uh, they probably live in a zip code like 90069 or 90046. But uh, certainly, if you want to know about your favorite actresses and when they got naked and their best nude scene they ever did, now is the time to call in and find out. Tom, 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 like it. one 800 Five eight hundred Tom one eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. Number one in man. Number one. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Tomorrow, a special edition of Like Us 101 from 3 to 5 p.m. Pacific Time. We are going to do 101 tomorrow from 3 until 5. Tomorrow only. That's tomorrow, 3 to 5. So be here for a special edition of Like Us 101, 3 to 5 tomorrow. Mr. Skin is our guest. It's MrSkin.com. Uh, let's say hi to Patrick on the Tom Lagos Show. Hello. Mr. Tom. Mr. Patrick. Long time listener, first time caller. Long time listener, first time caller. Uh, I want to know Jessica Alba. Uh, did he say Jessica Alba? Jessica Alba, yes. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, as hot as she is, she's been very 
Genji in her career. She did a movie called The Sleeping Dictionary in which her character is topless, but it is a body double. It is not her. I recommend a movie Dictionary called... was spelled D-I-C-T-I-O-N-A-R-Y, <laughs> yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. And uh, I do recommend a movie she did called Into the Blue. It's a movie where you could see her in a bikini, and, and while she's swimming underwater, there's... Uh, some nice creepage on her bikini in the back, but uh, not not nude, but pretty cool stuff. So Into the Blue is the best I'll be able to do for you on Jessica Alba. No nudity in her career, though. I have seen her in that. What's that? I have seen her in... Oh, you've the, seen that? I've yeah. seen the movie. But you're still looking for... You're still looking for the, the, the whole enchilada. I want it all. Hey, so you're not alone. You're not alone. Thank you, Patrick, for the call at 1-800-5-800-TOM. Here's Bob on the Tom Like a Show for our guest, Mr. Skin. Hello. Hi, Tom. Bob here. Yeah. I had a question. Um, the girl that was in Cocoon, the first one, was that Raquel Welch's daughter? Yes, the one that Tawny got Welch. Tawny Welch. And I actually have some good news for you. Unfortunately, her mother never did a nude scene, but Tawny Welch did... A couple of movies. I love a, a movie she did called Night Train to Venice in 1993. Uh, great breast shots in that. She did a bunch of movies for some reason in, I want to say it was, it was in Europe. I want to say in Germany where they're real hard to track down like you wouldn't walk into your local video store and find them. But we have all of her uh, German nudity uh, you know, at our website and even a, a couple of movies she did in, in Italy. But Night Train to Venice is one you can find. Now, we have all that at our website, but Night Train to Venice is one you might be able to track down. Tawny Welch, she was the girl naked in Cocoon. Is that, uh, is she, is that like uh, more current stuff? Well, everything she did nudity-wise was from about nine, from Cocoon was her first effort, and then from about 87 to about I'd say 98, so in like that 10-year span, she was naked about five times. Some Germans, some other like uh, Italian flicks, but Night Train to Venice is one you could track down. Beautiful girl. Thank you so oh, much. Oh, she's gorgeous, yes. Daughter of Raquel. Bob, thank you. Henry on the Tom like a show for Mr. Skin. Hello. Hey, Mr. Skin. Hey, Tom. Hey, hey what up? Uh, uh, my question is, uh, Kira Knightley. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's uh, been naked about five times. Uh, my favorite movie is a movie called The Hole, uh, where she's topless. Really? Yeah, uh, yeah, she's topless. Uh, Ask for it by one. name. Topless in a movie called The Hole, pretty funny. But uh, she's been naked, I would say, in about six movies and one uh, miniseries, uh, Dr. Zhivago, but that's going to be real tough for you to find. But we, uh, I, I would say uh, The Hole's my favorite, but you could also see her in a movie called Domino and The Jacket. So uh, lots of stuff to find. And she's only in her early 20s. So you know these UK babes, Tom, Jack, they're not afraid by the way, to get naked. Jacket was spelled J-A-C-K-E-T, right? <laughs> yeah, it was all one word. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, well, all right, thanks, man. Thank you, Henry. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. Here's Beverly on the Tom Likas Show for Mr. Skin of MrSkin.com. Hello. Hi, Tom. I was wondering about Catherine Zeta-Jones. Yes, she did a movie called A Thousand and One Nights before she was famous. No one uh, would even know this thing existed uh, at the time. No, She was an unknown. And uh, it, it also was known as Scheherazade. It has two different names. But uh, it came out in 1990, way before she was famous. And there's a scene where she comes out of the sky in a parachute completely naked and falls into the arms of an old man in the streets of Baghdad. It's pretty wild stuff. But uh, in the early 90s, before she hit it big, she was in a movie called Out of the Blue, which was, a, I think, a made-for-TV movie in Europe, which we tracked down. So she has, it's very obscure, the stuff she's been naked in, and it was early in her career before she was famous. But uh, you can find it. A Thousand and One Nights is out on DVD, and we have it. And uh, Out of the Blue, very difficult to find, but uh, we have it at our website. Beverly, thank you for the call. Brian on the Tom Like His Show from Mr. Skin. Hello. Oh, thank you, Dad. Um, mine is, i, I got to ask, just because she has more than a beautiful mind, uh, Jennifer Connelly. Oh, my God. She's one of my all-time favorites. Check out a movie called The Hot Spot in 1990. If you, uh, if you ask me what's the definition of perfect breasts, have you ever seen them, I'd say, uh, yes, Jennifer Connelly in The Hot Spot, the, uh, the skinny dip scene 
that happens about an hour and 26 minutes into that movie is is one of my favorite nude scenes of all time. Now, Jennifer Connelly's been naked in six or seven movies. Uh, the hot spot when she was like 19 years old, her best effort, no question about it. But, boy, she did some real wild stuff even after that, like Mulholland Falls with Nick Nolte. Uh, she did a movie called Requiem for a Dream where uh, she's nude in front of a mirror that you have to see. But uh, it's all good. So she's been naked in quite a few things. Hot spots. Mulholland Falls would be my two best efforts from her. Thank you, Brian. Thank you very much for the call. We're with Mr. Skin, the expert on who got naked among chicks yeah. uh, in movies. Yes, make sure we get that straight. Yeah, it's no new dudes. Chick nudity here. <laughs> so if you've got questions about your favorite actress and her best nude scenes, he is the guy to call. Tom, Tom, Tom. Like it. 1 800 5800 Tom. 1 800 5800 866. It's the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. 1 800 5800 Tom. He's our telephone number. Don't forget. Like is 101. We heard at a special time tomorrow only. 3 to 5 p.m. Pacific time. 3 to 5 for Likus 101 tomorrow. Get ready to call in early. Get ready to talk to the professor tomorrow. 3 to 5 p.m. 1-800-5-800-TOM. That's our telephone number. We're here with Mr. Skin. It's mrskin.com without a space. mrskin.com. It's his annual Anatomy Awards in advance of the Oscars here. Charles on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Yes, hey, Tom. Uh, thanks for taking my call. Uh, quick question for Mr. Skin. What's up with the black and white pictures of Britney Spears? Are those real? Which, which, which pictures? I don't know what you're referring to. There's some black and whites of Britney where she's on a chair. They're very professionally done, and she's totally nude and like artsy-looking photos. You know what? I don't really know what you're talking about. I know, I mean, obviously it's not from a movie or a, or a TV show, so. Yeah, it's not from a movie. Okay, well, another quick question. Has Mandy Moore or uh, Jessica Simpson ever done full nudes? Well, I wish Jessica Simpson has because she's on my list of babes I hope do their first nude scene in 2009. But uh, uh, Mandy Moore did a movie called How to Deal. And back in 2003 when I was doing my anatomy awards, she won best nip slip because 33 minutes in she walks to the window in a wife beater t-shirt with no bra and uh, we caught a nip slip so it's it's not an official nude scene as far as like a great topless scene but if you're the best i could do for you is mandy moore in how to deal 33 minutes in at the window we have we found a nip slip for you okay nice you should definitely try to look up the britney black and whites they're great they're yeah, great. Cool. I, I, yeah there's lots of modeling stuff she's done and i'll i'll try to check it out but i appreciate you letting me know thanks thanks for the call charles one 800 Five eight hundred Tom, Colin on the Tom Likas show for Mister Skin. Hello, what's up? Okay, the, lunch. the woman I want to see naked is Mortal Kombat's Bridget Wilson. Oh, the real blonde is what you want to check out. Uh, she is. Uh, she's the girl that's married to Pete Sampras, correct? Oh, I don't know about that. I just yeah. know her as Sonya. Uh, <laughs> yeah, her, yeah, she's a hottie, and uh, she actually did a movie called The Real Blonde during a photo shoot. You get to see her uh, topless, and uh, of she hasn't been in a ton of movies. She's been in some, but it's the only movie you could see her naked in. Uh, Bridget Wilson, uh, Real Blonde, only movie to see her naked in. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for the call. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Steve on the Tom Likas show for our guest, Mister Skin. Hello. Yo. Yes. How, how's it going? Great. So I'm thinking Scarlett Johansson and Megan Fox. Yeah, sorry. They're both uh, they're both girls that need to get naked soon. I can tell you this. Um, obviously, Scarlett Johansson has some pretty uh, incredible racks. She did a movie called The Love Song for Bobby Long, and there's a scene where a guy walks in on her 
and she's topless, but she has her hands over her boob like a hand bra. And, oh, and from man. the sides, you could get a real appreciation of what we're missing. It's, it's pretty cool stuff. We I didn't do. count it as nudity because there's no nip, but it's uh, worth checking Gotta out. Gotta have the nip. Got to oh, have the nip. Dead. Yeah, can but, you, uh, can you? but the, uh, and, and who was the other one you asked me about? Uh, Megan, Megan Fox. Megan Fox. Uh, here's the deal on her. We all know she's super hot. She's yet to do a nude scene. Keep an eye on a movie called Jennifer's Body, which will be out next year. She plays a cheerleader who becomes a serial killer, and it's uh, uh, it's got some good promise. I can't promise you she'll be naked, but there's some. We've seen some interesting pictures from the set, and good things may happen in that movie. I I'd settle for a side boob. Can You'll you take, take a me? side boob? <laughs> yeah. yeah, we could work. We could graduate to a real nude scene. We'll start with a nip yeah. slip, side boob, and then a nude scene. Can you take me out, uh, Michael Phelps style, followed by a Spanish five dollar foot long? Yes, yes, Steve, I can. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> No, he wanted Spanish here. No, you got to get the Spanish version. Skin, did you know there's a five dollar foot long in Spanish? No. Ah, there it is. <laughs> the, la the last line of the song, in case you don't understand Spanish, they're saying it's like a stutter. They're saying, eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Dylan, on the Tom Likas show for Mr. Skin. Hello. What up, Tom? <laughs> Not much, what, Dylan. What up, Mr. Skin? I'm calling to ask about two of my favorite girls, um, Cameron Diaz and Drew Barrymore. Yeah. What's up with them? Yeah, well, Drew Barrymore did a movie called Doppelganger, which uh, I don't think a lot of people have seen. It's a horror movie. She was 18 years old. And, uh, it, yeah, she, it, but it, she's in the shower, and the shower water turns to blood. But before it does, you get an amazing look at her uh, very chesty chest, I might say. When she was 18 years old, she was a lot bigger. I, I think there was some sort of either weight loss or reduction through the years. So... I really recommend the movie Doppelganger for Drew Barrymore. Now, Cameron Diaz has been a series of nip slips, nothing good. I mean, boy, she came pretty close in something about Mary in the window. Um, but check out a movie called Gangs of New York. There's a definite nip slip in that movie. Remember that Scorsese movie from a, uh, yeah, I would say it about, came out about 2002 or Unwatchable something. Unwatchable for every other reason. Yeah, but an hour and 24 minutes in, she has a definite nip slip. But again, it's just, I'm giving you a series of nip slips here. And uh, she's never done an official, like, really good nude scene, unfortunately, from Cameron Diaz. But Drew Barrymore, go run Doppelganger. You'll be a happy man. Thank you, Dylan. 1-800-5800-TOM. Here's Mike on the Tom Likas show for Mr. Skin. Hello. Hey, what's going on, Tom? Not much. Good, good. Um, I was wondering about Mila Kunis from the 70s show. Yeah, I wish I had good news. A lot of people think that uh, that Forgetting Sarah Marshall movie, because her character was naked, they thought it was her in the picture, but it was a body double. She came close. She had a sexy scene in bed, but she's yet to do a nude scene, and I'm a, a, a little bummed about that because she is smoking hot, and we, we need to see her nude. Right. All right, then, Tom, can you uh, take me out Bronco? too? Yes, I can. Thank you, Tom. It's Zach on the Tom Like His Show for Mr. Skin. Hello. Hey, Tom. Pleasure. Hey. Um, I just wanted to ask about a couple quick celebrities. I know one, uh, Julia Roberts. She's kind of older. But, An hour and 35 minutes in The Pretty Woman. She's <laughs> laying in bed, and uh, Richard Gere is with her. If you look through the railings of the bed, uh, the little uh, thing there, you can see right breast. It's pretty, it's definitely her, no question about it. It's it's quick, but it's a full breast shot at the hour and 35 minute mark of Pretty Woman. Oh, excellent. And my second was uh, Jennifer Love Hewitt. I would love to see her. One hour, one minute and 40 seconds into the tuxedo, a Jackie Chan movie. She gets pushed into a pool in a blue dress with no bra, underwater nip slip. We caught it. It's uh, I, I, Again, I don't want you to go out, just rent the movie just because of this, this nip slip underwater. Oh, but 
Uh, but if you do, I'd understand, too. But we have that. That one was the skin offices doing yeoman's work, uh, grabbing that one. I'm very proud of the guys. Awesome. Mr. Skin, you're the man. I'm definitely going to go get those. Uh, Tom, could you take me out with a bong rip and thank you, Jesus? I certainly can. Thank you, Jesus. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Bob on the Tom Like a Show for Mr. Skin. Hello. Hey, Tom. Uh, Selma Hayek. She's my favorite. What she's been in. Oh, yeah. Well, we talked about this one. This is uh, Check out a movie she did called Ask the Dust, 33 minutes in with Colin Farrell. Great full frontal nudity, a skinny dip scene. But really for total movie nudity, I think Frida could be your, your best bet. She plays Frida Kahlo, a, a Mexican artist. And other than the unibrow, they put her in like they do a fake kind of unibrow. It's not really hers. Uh, if you could deal with the unibrow, you'll love all the, the toplessness and lesbian acts and it's pretty hot stuff. So Frida or Ask the Dust, my two best songs. Now, I wait a minute. I understood that she grew a unibrow for that. Well, I'm not sure if that was a, a, a prosthetic or if it was really hers, but it, it wasn't something she walks around with daily. I can tell you that. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah. Okay, I say, Tom, blow me up. Thank you. I'll blow you up, baby. Here you go. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Here is Matt on the Tom Likas Show for our guest, Mr. Skin of MrSkin.com. Hello. Hey, how's it going, Tom? Hey, great. Hey, nice to talk to you, Mr. Skin. All right, I got a good one. I want to know about Marissa Tomei. Oh, my God. Well, we uh, are all over her from The Wrestler this year. There's no question that it was one of the best nude scenes of 2008. And uh, she, she should win an Academy Award, but she already won an Anatomy Award for that nudity but as good as the wrestler was she did a movie last year when she was 43 years old called before the devil knows you're dead and her tomatoes have never looked better and she's 43 years old so you have to you have to give her some credit. She really hadn't done much nudity-wise in her 20s and 30s, and in her 40s comes out with two amazing movies for nudity. And I'm telling you, Tom, uh, she I, I, she's a freak of nature. You can't be in your 40s and look that good. It's look impossible. at that. Yeah. Love that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, all right. Well, thanks. Uh, blow me up, Tom. I'll blow you up. Here you go, Matt. Like 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. Coming to you from my home, Hollywood, California. At one 800 800 tom that's our telephone number. Don't forget tomorrow, a special edition of Likus 101. Tomorrow from 3 until 5. It's tomorrow only. It will not be 3 to 5 after tomorrow, just tomorrow. So get your questions ready for your professor. Light up. Tomorrow, Likus 101. 1-800-5800-TALK. That's our telephone number. We are here with Mr. Skin. Mr. Skin is the expert on female nudity in films and television. If you have questions about the uh, hottest actresses out there and you want to know where they've appeared nude, he knows. 1-800-5800-TALK. It's John on the Tom Like Show for Mr. Skin. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Great. I was wondering about this uh, chick. She's a UFC boxer called Gina Carano. You're asking about a boxer? Dude, this chick is hot. Has she ever made a movie? <laughs> yeah. um, I'm not sure, but I know she was on uh, Hulk Hogan's uh, gladiator thing. She was crushed. Yeah, she hasn't been in a in an R-rated movie with a chance to get naked yet, but let's give her some time, and uh, hopefully I could uh, have some good news from you, for you in the future. Okay. Hey, Tom, could you take me out Spanish uh, $5 style? Uh, yes. Yes, I can, John. Yeah. Wrong one. Latinos, you 
one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Here's Scott on the top like a show for Mr. Skin. Hello. Hello, Mr. Skin. Hey Scott. I bow down to your encyclopedic knowledge. <laughs> well, thank you. I had a question. Uh, last time you were on the show, uh, you were counting down your top ten of 2008. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering uh, what so far of 09 would make your list. Oh, what, what nudity so far in 09? Um, unfortunately, there hasn't been a lot. I've, I've actually been really disappointed as far as the, the TV stuff has been so far this year. And uh, I think in the coming uh, months, when when Entourage and uh, and uh, you, you know some of these shows, the Tudors, Dexter, when they start their next seasons, um, espe and especially True Blood, that we're going to see a lot more. But uh, so far, nothing much. But one thing to keep an eye on: uh, there's a movie called Powder Blue uh, with Jessica Biel playing a stripper that'll be out in a couple of months, and uh, I have my eye on that. I can't get confirmation either way if she's going to be naked, but as soon as one of my skin scouts actually gets to see the movie, I'll have a full report, but that's one I have my eyes on right now. Thank you for the call. It's Mike on the Tom Likas Show for Mr. Skin. Hello. Hey, my uh, Tom. Question is uh, an old film by Betsy Russell. Oh, yeah, Private School? Yeah. Has she yeah. done anything else besides that? Oh, yeah. Well, she did... Um, uh, do you remember there was a movie called, uh, I want to say it was uh, Tomboy, which came out in 1985 where she played like a grease monkey chick, but she, uh, uh, you know, working on cars, but uh, uh, she was very naked in that. But her, Tom, this is the greatest nude scene on a horse in the history of movies with really? Betsy Russell in private school. This movie also, by the way, featured Phoebe Cates naked, so it's a must-see for fans of teen sex comedies of the 80s. But uh, Betsy Russell kind of faded uh, from view after the mid to late 80s, but uh, Private School, Out of Control is another movie she did, and uh, Tomboy, I highly recommend if you're a Betsy Russell fan. So we have her at our website, and, and you could look at every movie she's been naked in at our website. All right, thanks. Can you blow me up, Tom? Yes, yes, I can. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number with Mr. Skin. It's Mark. Hello. Hey, hello, Tom. Hey, hello. Hey, I want to know about Jennifer Tilly because I bow down to the altar of her beautiful breast every day. Oh, those those things are monstros monstrosuses, and uh, I'm a huge fan of her. Of course, she was in one of the great lesbo moments of all time in Bound with Gina Gershon. But from a nudity standpoint, as hot as that was, she really didn't show a lot of of uh, nudity, which was a bummer. Her best movie, in my opinion, and a, and a skin classic, by the way, Tom, is Dancing at the Blue Iguana, where y you have Jennifer Tilly, Daryl Hannah, um, I'm trying to think, uh, Sheila Kelly, a, a beautiful girl named Charlotte Ayana, even Sandra O. Oh, all play strippers and uh, get naked for long periods of time. And to see Jennifer Tilly stripping on stage, you can imagine the guys in the first or second row were getting their beers knocked over. <laughs> um, it was pretty impressive stuff. So uh, Dancing at the Blue Iguana, best place to see her. And she's been naked in some other things, too. I mean, The Getaway had a good scene. Um, I'm, uh, uh, what else? Uh, uh, I would say, like, Fast Sofa, a real obscure uh, a real obscure film that uh, is an art house movie, but Dancing at the Blue Iguana is your best bet for Jennifer Tilly. Thank you for the call. 1 800 5 800 Tom is our telephone number. Jeff on the Tom Like His Show with Mr. Skin. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. Hey, uh, I wanted to ask you before I, uh, before I ask uh, Mr. Skin anything, uh, uh, have you done any impersonations? Have I done impersonations? Not today. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, you sound like Sam Kinison all over. Wow, look at that. God rest his soul. But anyway, Mr. Skin. Yeah. I want to see Kate Blanchett. Oh, yeah, she did a, she did a movie called Elizabeth in which she won... I believe she won an Oscar, if I'm not mistaken, for that. And she's a, go she's a gorgeous uh, babe. That was, uh, for a while, it was uh, my best uh, thing to tell people. She had a real brief down blouse breast shot in that but then uh then she did a a movie called uh uh it was called little fish which came out in 2005 in which you see her in some some pretty uh sexy moments some is body double but some is her but elizabeth from 1998 is um 
is, uh, from a movie standpoint, the best. There's a TV miniseries she did called Border Town that is really weird because they made her look really old. So I don't know if you want to check that out, but uh, probably Elizabeth is your best bet. Thank you for the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Here's Matt on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Matt? Are you, are you busy over there, Matt? I say hello, Dad. Oh, hello, son. Again, I got a couple, two quickies for you, two hot ones. The first one's uh, Rosalind Sanchez. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, she did a movie called Yellow, and um, uh, I'm trying to think where people might know her from. Uh, she was on uh, Without a Trace. She played Elena on that. I don't know if you guys watched that show, but uh, she did a movie called Yellow, and I believe she, I want to say she wrote the script, too, if I'm not mistaken, but it's pretty cool because she made herself get very naked. She played a stripper in it, so Check that out. It's out on DVD. We, we have it at our website, of course, but you can find it. It's called Yellow. Very naked as a stripper. It's, it's something you definitely should check out. It is, unfortunately, the only movie she is naked in, but she was, she was pretty nude in it. Good stuff. Awesome. And my second one is uh, Vanessa Marcel. Yeah, I wish I had good news on her. Uh, guys have asked me about her before. And, uh, uh, you know, that TV show Vegas, she was in bikinis a lot, and it, it – made guys think gosh i gotta see her naked but um she really has just been a bikini girl her whole life and uh um i always wish because since beverly hills 90210 i always wish she would do a nude scene she just hasn't thanks a lot for the call i think we can squeeze one more in here nick on the tom like show it's mr skin of mr skin.com hello hey Tom. hey uh my question for mr skin is anna ferret Oh, yeah. She's a, an Anatomy Award winner this year for The House Bunny. People know her from the scary movie films, but uh, in The House Bunny, which is a PG-13 uh, a PG movie, she shows full buttage. It's very hot stuff, and uh, I highly recommend it. In fact, I recommend it so much she won an Anatomy Award this year. So Anna Ferris in The House Bunny. Check it out. Great nudity. Nick, thank you so much. we got about 20 seconds left here, Mr. Skin. Tell everybody about your site. Well, MrSkin.com is the largest database in the world for female celebrity nudity, and we're in our 10th year. And, uh, again, I want to thank you, Tom, for uh, you know having me on the show all these years to, uh, to share my knowledge with your audience. I really appreciate it. And we've enjoyed every minute of it. <laughs> Don't forget, tomorrow, tomorrow, Like Us 101, a special early time, 3 o'clock. Tom Like His Show.